Whether you're doing a mother-daughter book club or you're just talking about media at home with your children, you can be very thoughtful and deliberate about the books and movies that you choose to read and watch with your daughters and your sons. So mother-daughter book clubs help moms teach media literacy, but they're also a great tool for pushing back on consumerism and marketing that directly targets kids. Let's talk about what the primary message of this media is to both boys and girls. So for girls, the primary message is the most important thing about you is your looks. Beauty, thinness, sexiness are what you are most valued for. It's a message about your outsides over your insides. So for boys, what's the primary message? Don't be like a girl. Don't run like a girl. Don't throw like a girl. Don't cry like a girl. Because masculinity is defined as not femininity. And really, this is about raising critical thinkers. It's about raising consumers in a consumerist culture to ask the question of why is something being marketed and how is it being marketed, and to question. This is an important skill for all of our kids to have, and mother-daughter book clubs are a great way to do that. For us as moms, it was important that we were practicing female leadership, so we needed to walk the walk. So really, it was just in the third grade year, the first year, that we did a lot of the um, choosing of the books and, and forming of the questions. Um, by the fourth grade year, they were giving big input into what books they wanted, and there were different rules we had about veto power. Moms sometimes vetoed something if we didn't think the content was right, and girls could veto it if they had already read it before or they didn't like it or something. But um, we let the girls lead the discussions, and we talked as moms about how important it was not to dominate the discussion, not to turn it into literary debates between the moms, because that's a huge turnoff <laughs> for kids. And so we really let them um, guide the discussion. From my perspective, this club that we did was the most transformative thing that I did as a parent. Nothing compares. Um, I am so grateful that I did it. I really cannot imagine what it would have been like um, if I hadn't had this club. The mother-daughter book club that so deeply changed my life and Charlotte's ended years ago, but only in a certain way. It lives on in our hearts and now in the pages of this book. It lives on in other mothers and daughters. Together, from one generation to the next, we can change the world. One girl at a time, one book at a time, one voice at a time. Welcome to the village. May it be everything for you that it has been for us and more. So that's what we have for you today. Thank you.